Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives, uh, working on coordinate geometry. We have got uh, the question that you're going to consider where we are given two lines F. Uh, we are given the line H here and the, the line G. So we have got uh, some of the information that you're given that is going to help us to notify what you have. In the diagram, Y is equal to minus 2X plus 5 is parallel to the line H. All right. So we have got uh, the line H and this line of y is equal to minus 2x uh, plus 5, and you're given that these two lines, they are parallel to each other. All right, then at the end, uh, we are given that f is six units from the origin. All right, the point f taken from the origin, this is our origin here, to the point f here. So they are saying we have got six units in between. That means at this point, this is uh, at six. From this point up to this point, we've got six units. The distance in between is six units. So now how can we relate this distance of six units to the point F? We say this is six, but according to the direction or where we are in this case from the zero here to the left hand side, our values, they are negative. To the right hand side, our values are positive. So meaning to say uh, at F, our point here is negative six. That is what we are given from this information. All right, so the first part of our question here was to write down uh, the coordinates of F and G. All right, and the point G, okay? So we need the point F and the point G. All right, so let us locate our point F. Our point F is the one that you have been talking about, this one, where we said at this point, this is at negative six. Remember, a point is given as uh, X and Y. That's how you write your point, meaning to say the point F written as X followed by Y like this. We have got the value of X in this case, which is negative six. And the value of Y in the x axis y is always equal to zero so that means the value of y here is zero so that means that means the point f is going to be negative six uh zero and we also have the point g so let us consider where we have got the point g here this is uh where we have our point uh, g at this point here which lies on the y-axis it's direct on the y-axis from the line of y is equal to minus 2x plus 5 this line uh this point g lies on the y-axis and in the y-axis we understand that x is always equal to zero so that means already for the point g what i am having there is the value of x that i know that x is equal to zero in because it lies on the on the y-axis and from the x, which is equal to, so we can substitute into this equation. This is an equation which gives us the value of y or the value of x at any given point. It's from the equation of that line, which passes at point g. So I'm going to take uh, the equation of y is equal to minus 2x plus 5. With this equation, we are saying we have the value of x. And with the value of x that we are given, which is 0, we can substitute into uh, x that will be y is equal to minus 2 times 0 plus 5 which is going to be uh, minus 2 times 0 this one gives us a 0 plus 5 which is a 5 so i'm simply saying the value of x that you i mean the value of y that you're going to have corresponding when x is a 0 is going to be a 5 so that's the point g in this case all right so we've got the point f uh, which is uh, the point F, as we say, the point F is going to be uh, at negative six zero and the point G is at uh, zero five. All right, so this is how we're supposed to attempt this uh, typical question. So this is at uh, zero five. Then if we move on to the other part, to the other part of the question, we are now given the part B to find the equation of the line edge. The equation of the line H, just like the line that we are given here as Y is equal to minus 2X plus 5. What is going to be the equation? Which concept are we going to apply of our lines in this case? All right, this is what you're going to have. If we are, remember, we are given before that uh, these two lines, they are actually, okay, I just want to remove this part here. Okay, so let me just remove uh this part only this part here 
So remember from the concept of uh, parallel lines, we are told that the line of uh, y is equal to minus 2x plus 5 is parallel to line h. So if it is parallel to line h, what does it mean? From the gradient concept, two lines which are parallel, you have got the same gradient. So what we need from this equation is the gradient. Remember, if you write your equation in the form of y is equal to mx plus c, the m here represents the gradient. So meaning to say from our equation, minus 2 represents the gradient of the line. So that means we have the gradient in this case, which is given as negative 2. This gradient is the same as the gradient for equation h. Why? These two, they are parallel. So from two parallel lines, we are going to have the same gradient. So if we have got the gradient now of minus 2 on point h, how on equation of this line on line h, what about the other part that we are going to need to find now the equation? We need the point that lies, any point which lies on H. And we saw that, uh, or we calculated the point F before, which is given as a minus six zero. So we can use our gradient and this point to calculate the equation. So depending with the formula, that you are used to to calculate the gradient, but I once said we can uh, I mean to calculate the equation when given gradient and uh, the point. But I once said we can have our equation as y is equal to mx plus c from this concept. If you understand that an equation can be written in the format of y is equal to mx plus c, therefore you can also understand that the equation can be formulated from that format where m is representing our gradient just like this part. So we are going to have our equation as y is equal to m, which is minus 2x plus c. c is the y-intercept or the part that you're going to have if we have got our point here f given as x and y. So what you're simply going to do from the point f, you substitute what you're given into the equation. Your f uh, point here from the f point, your x is negative 6, y is equal to 0. So that means in place of y, we are going to substitute as 0, which is equal to minus 2 times x. Our x in this case, which is uh, negative 6 plus c. So remember, you, need, you want to calculate the value of c from this part now. We want to calculate uh, c, the value of c in this case. So we can combine. That's a normal equation that you're used to, a linear equation. Negative 2 and negative 6 multiplied together gives us a positive 12 plus C. So we can transpose the 12 to the other side of the equation so that it can be a negative. So that means here we are going to obtain uh, 0 minus 12, which is equal to C. So C is equal to uh, negative 12 in this case. So by finding the value of C, we can substitute into this expression into this equation that we once wrote to say y is equal to mx plus c. So we substituted the first part and we got negative 2x plus c here. So now we can substitute the value of c uh, to our final answer. So that means, therefore, uh, our equation is going to be y is equal to minus 2x. So we've got uh, minus 2x plus c. So our c is negative 12. So plus and the minus gives us a minus so it's plus negative 12 which gives us a negative 12 so that is how we can have our final equation which represents uh the equation of line h which is parallel to another line so what is important is the gradient part that you're going to take from the other line that you're given which is parallel to so that is how we can simply determine the equation when given two lines which are parallel yes we can use uh, this concept, uh, most of us are related to this concept or uh, to find an equation. Uh, if you are given gradient, remember we are given the gradient, which was negative uh, 2, and we had the point F, which was given as negative 6, 0. So some, they use this formula, y minus y1 over x minus x1 is equal to the gradient. All right, which is fine. So you can actually have this point as your x1, y1. So these are the 
values for x1, y1. So we can have this as y minus y1 in this case, which is a zero over x minus your x1. Your x1 is negative six. So that will be a negative six like this is equal to the gradient. Our gradient is negative two. So we can write it as a fraction. So this is negative two over over one. So that means we can formulate the same equation as long keeping in mind that we must have our format in the, uh, our equation in the form of y is equal to mx plus c, or you can have in the form of ax plus by is equal to c like that. All right. So that is uh, another part of, uh, I mean, presentation that you can have. We can, we are going to talk about this later on. All right. That's y minus zero here, which is y over x minus minus six. That will be a negative, negative which is positive six is equivalent to minus two over one. So let us cross multiply, just like solving an equation, but as we are focusing on making Y the subject of the formula. So that's Y time, uh, one times Y here, which is Y is equal to minus two is going to multiply each and every part that we have on X plus six. So this is going to be negative two into X plus six. Expand the brackets by negative two, that's obtaining the value of y, negative two times x, that will be negative two, negative two times a positive six, which is going to uh, be a negative. We have got a positive here and a negative. So that will be a negative two times six, which is 12. So you're going to obtain the same equation as uh, the one that we obtained from the first part, just depending with the, uh, which method you are used to, on determining the equation. But uh, at the end, we are going to have the same thing or the same answers. Uh, all we need is to make sure that we revise as much questions as possible. Uh, application of parallel lines, finding of gradient, and even understanding your equation. The presentation of the equation of y is equal to mx plus c. Do you actually understand this equation or you just write your equation uh, and ignore like that? Let us work on more questions. Uh, from Amazon African Motives uh, till we meet again.